If a shirt can take an hour to make as compared to 15 hours previously, then thanks to Isaac Marisinga for making it possible. Isaac Marisinga, the eighth child of a German immigrant, was born in Troy on 27th October 1811. Soon after his birth, the family moved to a frontier town of Oswego. In 1821, his mother left the family home. His father, then 68, was a remote and unsympathetic figure, and his stepmother, whom his father married soon after the divorce, made things worse rather than better. At the age of 12, he left home and went to live in Rochester with an elder brother and two years later, he began an apprenticeship in a machine shop. Over the next few years, he became a talented mechanic and obtained contract to build a lift-making machinery. However, in 1830, he joined a local theater company that performed plays by William Shakespeare. It is claimed that, although Singer had no formal education and was barely literate, he was a talented actor. Singer was well fitted for the stage. His handsome face held, square jaws, grey eyes, massive brow, framed by thick ebon hair, but it was the most frightening energies radiated by his presence that people remembered vividly. Mary Singer could not make a living as an actor, so he was forced to work as a mechanic. In 1830, he married Kathleen Harley, a 15-year-old girl from Palmyra. For a while, he lived with her parents, but eventually the couple moved to Port Gibson in Manchester where he found work in a dry goods store. However, no job lasted very long and he would often be caught up with a drama company that visited the area. After weeks, he would return to his wife and would be forced to take a local job. In 1835, Singer and his family moved to New York City where he got a job in a printing press factory. The following year, he set off with an acting troupe without telling his wife. During this period, he developed a reputation for being a womanizer. According to one newspaper, his intimacy with the female population was severely commented upon and much sympathy was expressed for his wife. Singer found work in a company building the Illinois and Michigan Canal. In 1839, he made a machine that drilled through the rocks. His employers were so impressed that they paid him $2,000 for the invention. He used this money to finance his acting group, the Married Players. The group continued until 1844 where he ran out of money. He found work in a sawmill in Fredericksburg. His job was to cut wooden type to be used for printing posters. It was menial work that is found unsatisfying, so he invented a caving machine to do the job. Mary Singer moved back to New York City and persuaded A.B. Taylor Company to provide him with money and space to build a commercial prototype. But shortly afterwards, a boiler burst in the building and the explosion killed 63 people. As a result of this disaster, the company was forced to close. Singer found another partner, but after building a prototype, they were unable to find investors to produce it commercially. In 1850, Mary Singer was asked to repair a Leroy and Blodger sewing machine. For over 20 years, efforts have been made to invent the effective sewing machine. A French dealer, Bartholomew Timonier, was the first to put a sewing machine device into commercial operation in an attempt to mechanize embroidery. He patented his device in 1830, and by 1841, he had a factory with 80 machines. However, a mob of tailors worried about their livelihood, broke in and destroyed them. The first American to make a significant contribution was Walter Hunt, who developed a machine around 1832 that made a lost stitch. Hunt, who invented the safety pin and the bridge loading rifle, came from a strong Quaker family. He abandoned work on the machine after his daughter told him it would throw seamstresses out of work. Elias Howey, a machinist from Cambridge, Massachusetts, was granted a patent of a sewing machine in 1846 but found it difficult finding investors to develop the machine as it was expensive to produce. And factory owners felt they could get more from seamstresses for the same money. Shebon Blodgett, a tailor joined forces with John Alexander Le Roy to produce a rotary sewing machine that was patented in 1849. However, it did not work well and was constantly breaking down. After examining the Leroy and Blodgett sewing machine, Marisinga concluded that it would be more reliable if the shuttle moved in a straight line rather than a circle, with straight rather than curved needle. The following year, he patented his sewing machine. It could sew 900 stitches per minute, far better than 40 skilled seamstresses. 
In 1851, Singer joined forces with Edward Cooper Clark to form the Singer Sewing Company. The Singer was the first practical sewing machine for general domestic use and incorporated the basic pointed eye needle and lustig developed by Elias Howey. The Singer met the demand of the tailoring and leather industry for a heavier and more powerful machine. The Singer sewing machine was not an immediate success and sales were poor. In 1856, Singer brought out his first machine intended exclusively for domestic use. This machine sold for $100 each. Selling these machines were a major problem as the average family income was less than $500 a year. Singer's partner, Edward Clark, came out with a high purchase plan. By advancing a certain percentage of the total price of the machine, a customer could hire a sewing machine, make monthly payment to it, and eventually own it. Singer only charged $5 for the initial payment, but soon as they failed to make the monthly payment, the machine was repossessed. This method of selling goods was a great success and sales increased. In 1858, the company sold 3,594 machines and by 1851, sales were over 16,000. As a result, individuals with small income could own a single sewing machine. As sales grew, Singer could bring in mass production techniques. He was now able to cut price in half, while at the same time increasing profit margin by 530%. Eventually, the price came down to $30. By 1876, Singer sold 262,000. 360 machines, more than twice as many as its nearest rival. In 1882, Singer expanded into the European market, establishing a factory in the Clyde Bank near Glasgow. A Canadian plant was opened in Montreal five years later. Others followed despite great growth in domestic business. The company was soon selling more sewing machines abroad than in the United States. It has been urged that Singer had created America's first multinational corporation. Mary Singer had two children with Catherine, his first wife, William and Lillian. Mary Singer began an affair with Mary Ann while still married to Catherine. They had ten children, two others died at birth. In 1860, he divorced Catherine and lived with Mary Ann. Another mistress, a former employee, gave birth to another five children. By 1860, Mary Singer had fathered and acknowledged 18 children, six of them still then living by four women. A man with so much energy for other activities may have had strong sexual energies too, but physical need alone cannot explain the peculiar pattern of singers' sexual involvement. Except for their frequency, there are nothing remarkable about his brief affair with barmaids and working girls while on the road, but he usually sought something more permanent. In addition to sex, he wanted security of marriage and family life. In 1862, Mary Ann discovered details of his relationship with an employee and had her husband arrested for bigamy. Mary Singer was let out on bond and fled to London. The following year, as a singer married Isabella Eugene Boya, a French woman he met in Paris, they had six children. The great wealth that Singer achieved enabled him to buy expensive houses. This included a mansion on a Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. In 1871, Singer purchased an estate in painting in England. He commissioned George Southern Bridgman to build Oldway Mansion as his private resident in the style of the Palace of Versailles. Singer sourced the finest material from around the world and instructed Bridgman to design the interior in an exuberant French style. Isaac Mary Singer died on the 23rd July 1875, shortly before work on the mansion was completed. It is claimed that during his lifetime, Singer fathered at least 24 children with various wives and mistresses.